Hey everybody, welcome to Henry Disc Golf. Today we are out at Silver Fox. Me and Patrick, you'll get to meet Patrick for the first time. Jason and Franklin playing doubles. Let's see how it goes today. All right, here we are on hole number one. Hole number one is a 300 foot par three, basically just down the hill, straight in front of us. You wanna go first, Patrick? All right, Patrick is throwing a Buzz SS. That is a great line. Just got cut up by the tree branches. Dropped down at the bottom of the hill. Today I'm going to go with a finish line pace. Oh, a little too hyzer on it. All right, we'll be taking Patrick's. All right, Jason is throwing a Paradox. Not very well. Okay, I have an M4 in my hands. We're going to just try to get this into a spot. That hyzer's a little bit. Get down through there. It's in the open. Not bad. Nope, but I did the same thing. What the heck? <laughs> uh, we got somewhere between 50 to 60 feet here. So it's outside of my range, but we're going to give it an attempt. Nope, too much hyzer. So we took Patrick's throw left here with roughly about 50 to 55 feet. Thank you. Nice high bid. Ooh. Oh, so close. Here we put here. All right, so we got maybe 12 feet to the basket. Hey, first putts of the day, first throws of the day. Yeah, that, that's fine. Good putt. There it is. Good putt. All right, guys, so here we are on hole number two. Hole number two is 324 feet. It goes straight and then just kind of goes to the left down the hill, going with champion Hawkeye, trying to throw straight and then have it highs off at the end. Nice. That'll be down there. Thank you. Get through. And Heiser, come on. That should be down there too. Good throw. Oh, I have a Valkyrie in my hand. This is my flippier one. So we're going to put this on Heiser and let it stand up and get to the bottom of the hill. Nope, that's right into the tree. Well, that'll give you an open shot though. Yeah. Jason is going to be throwing a virus. You got to skip. Okay. <laughs> Jason stepping up to the, my lie. He's throwing a hex, and we're probably about uh, 150 to 170 out. Okay. I'm going to be stepping up to this throw. I'm going to be throwing a marvel. Nope, that's two inside. Let's see where that ended up. All right, so we decided to go with my approach shot from my Valkyrie throw. Uh, we're in the woods, but we felt that we have a good enough gap and we're closer to the basket that we can get up and down. So 
Let's see how we go ahead and end up. I'm going with like an Annie Flex here. Oh, wow. Nice shot. <laughs> nice shot. There it is. All right, so here we are on hole number three. Hole number three is a 330 foot par three. It is straight down and then has a nice dog leg to the left. Patrick, it is your tee box. Out there wide, get inside. Nice skip, come on. Maybe pushing a little deep. All right, I am going with my eagle. Try to push a similar line to Patrick here. Let's keep it a little tighter. Oh, way too tight. I may have caught the edge on the corner there. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and go. Right. I'm going to be throwing a DX Eagle. We're just going to be trying to hyzer it in between the right two trees. Skip. Shouldn't be bad. In the open. Jason throwing his lift. With jet. Okay. Jason for an attempt. Yeah, this is under the basket. I got my marvel. We're going to be giving it another bid here. Nope, that was yanked. All right, after Patrick's throw, left here with roughly about 30, 35 feet. See if we can give this a nice bit at the basket. Oh, good man. A little short, good throw. Welcome to hole four. Hole four is a 393 foot par three. It is down and kind of tails off to the right. Going with the champion Hawkeye again. Seeing if we can put this in the middle of the fairway. Miss it. Should be okay. A little tight. See where that wants up. Jason going with his virus, pulled it over a little bit too much, dropping down really close to the edge. Yeah, I'm going to be throwing my M4 off the tee here. I'm just trying to land this by the rocks in the middle of the fairway. <laughs> Needs to flip. Darn. Just in the stuff. All right, so just got on the edge here a little bit. Gonna go with patent pending, throwing the blue AVR. Pretty decent, that'll be a putt. Not bad. Jason for an upshot at my M4. So it was a nice smooth shot. That is up Good there for shot. a putt. Great shot. I'm going to be throwing an Envy here. It's right behind the M4. Let's see what I can do here. All right, got about a 15 to 20 footer here. Jerry, 
just low out of the hand. Oh, goodness. Okay, we are taking Jason's upshot on that approach. Let's go ahead and tap this in. Ooh, selfie style. Good three. Okay, welcome to hole five. We got 417 feet. It's straight through this gap by the trees there, and then it's going to tail off to the left a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let Jason tee off first. Jason is going to be throwing a jet. That's a good smooth shot. Some fade. It's a little, a little too much fade. Got some pinched off there. Yeah, I'm going to be going reactor. My goal here with the reactor is just to get up to that gap so that we can have an upshot to the basket. Not bad. Good throw. Eyes are a bit. You know what? I'm comfortable enough with that. I will go a little crazy. I mean, not my typical play, but we're going to go era since he put us in an okay spot. See if I can get this down through the gap and just size her off. Yeah, that's a good shot. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we elected to go with my drive with the reactor. We got a straight shot to the pin. I'm going to be going leopard here because I really want to get us close, make our putting a little bit easier. I think I kicked my disc. <laughs> Jason is going with a rhythm here, standstill. Patrick is going with the justice here. Come on. Whew, whew, whew. Good throw, good throw. All right, I got a pace. See if we can put enough pace on this to put it in the basket. Nope. But right next to it. Shout out Drew Gibson. <laughs> Shout out Drew Gibson is right. Okay, we like to go with my upshot with the leopard. Jason's going to be putting here from 60 feet. Ooh, he gave that a good run. I'll be going with my marvel here. I'm just going to be putting and see if we can hit some metal here. Hit metal. <laughs> Welcome to hole six. We have a 501 foot par four, first par four of the day. I think we only have a couple of them throughout the round. Gonna go with the era here. Try to see if we can put this out straight and then just have a little bit of fade towards the end of the flight. Probably skipped in a little bit, but not bad. All right, we have Patrick here going with an F3 again. Didn't turn into the stuff. Not terrible. Okay, I'm going to be going with my red Valkyrie here. I'm going to just be putting it out to the right pretty flat and just let the disc do the work. And I turned her over. That's no bueno. Yeah. 
That's a yes, fairway. that's a fairway hit. So, um, okay, Jason is picking up his virus again. Just a nice smooth shot to get us further down the fairway. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be picking up that red Valkyrie again this time. Let's see if we can throw it on time in my swing instead of late. I find out a little bit. Good throw. Thank you. All right, so here is the results of my drive. Still easily have about 100 to 150 into the basket. So we're going to go with the pace, try to put us down by the basket. A little short. Here's Patrick going with a Fission Envy. Good angle. Sit, good throw. Jason with an R Pro dart. A little too floaty. Okay. I'll be throwing my Marvel here. Sit, go on. Sit. Woo. Good throw, Franklin. Jason's look, a little to the outside. Okay, we had probably about a 20 footer here. Let's go ahead and put it in the basket. There it is, good pot. Thank you. There it is, good pot. All right, guys, here we are on hole number seven. Hole number seven is a 360 foot par three. It is straight and then just tails off to the right at the end of the flight. It is Patrick's tee pad. <laughs> All right, I'm going with the champion Hawkeye. Just trying to put this flat, hopefully have it just ride over to the right. Yes. Nice job, bro. And that's in the open. Glorious. Thank you. Now Jason's throwing a champ Rolo. Oh. Put it on a little hyzer. Popped up to fly. Nice. That's a good that's shot. Nice. Good throw. Okay. I'll be going with my Red Star Valkyrie. My more straight to understable one. I just picked up that too much to turn. Out. Good How kick. About. So different. Okay, I'm going to be doing this upshot with a Berg here real quick. Just put us down by the basket and have a tap in. All right. That's good. All right, so this is where the upshot with the Berg ended up. We got maybe 10 feet from the basket here. Ooh. Yeah. Outside. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we'll possibly go out of turn, but it's pretty routine. Rat tapping. There, there you go, Jason. Jason. Full eight, 306 feet. Extreme hyzer to the left. Going justice. Yeah, gonna say that's some pushback wall. All right, got a big Z zone. Try to keep this nice and tight. Even though it says it's 300 feet, this really only plays like 225. Nice and tight. Okay. I'll be going with my distortion here. Yeah, that should work. What happened to the pink one? <laughs> I threw it in at Lincoln in Kenosha on hole 17. This is where my drive wants up. Patrick said he wants first bid at it, so I'm going to let him have it. Get him! Good throw. Frick yeah. There you go, Jason. All right, guys, welcome to hole nine. Hole nine is a 480 foot par four bug in the ear. We're gonna go with the star Hawkeye, just put it on some Anheuser and try to put it in a good spot to have an upshot look at the basket. Oh, too low, that'll be fine. Not as far right as I wanted, or left, yeah, right as I wanted, but it's okay. I can go first. That's fine. All right, Patrick's throwing a Rolo. It's a little bit too wide out of the hand. Should be retrievable. Okay. I got an M4 in my hand here. I'm just going to go ahead and place it before the line of trees that are down the middle of the fairway. That's too straight. You want to pick mine up when you go in there? Yeah. <laughs> Jason here going to be throwing a Rolo. Nice and smooth. Oh, yeah. Stay out there. Nice. Oh, All right, so here's where my drive wants up. I'm going to go with a matrix. Let's try to put it on a little hyzer line. See if we can make it through all the trees and get by the basket. We're still about 250 away. No, it popped up. Patrick is going with a glide. He's going to try to hyzer clip this right through the gap. That is a beauty. Get in the basket. Great throw. Great throw, Patrick. All right, we're going to be taking Jason's Rolo on this shot. We just want to go ahead and throw a little Annie through the gap since we are a little bit to the right side of the fairway here. I'm going to be going with a Pro Leopard. Too much. Hey, right, we're gonna go join me. Mm -hmm. Jason is going with his champ Rolo. All right, so this is where the leopard ended up. I got a overhand little tomahawk here to get us up by the basket. So that is what I will go ahead and be throwing here. Sit down. Not bad. Good throw. Then high. 
So Jason's going to be going with a dart here on another tomahawk as well. And that'll work. Good throw. Patrick was right here. Park City. Good throw, man. I do have a second putter in the bag. That well, thank you guys so much for watching the front half of doubles. Quick score update. Patrick and myself are down three. Franklin and Jason are plus two so far on the round. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like to see. Peace.